Tonight, it's all about growing beyond your first million. How do you make your business bigger, better, stronger? It's part three of our road to CES, but it is not just about technology. It is so much more. When you expand your business, you open yourself up to challenges and bumps in the road. To make it, you'll need the proper tools to grow, but what else does it take? Raw necessity for a place to put his gadgets drove Scott Jordan to develop Scotty Vest, a vest designed to carry personal electronics in hidden pockets. But Scott didn't stop there. He forged forward to expand into a wide variety of great looking functional clothes. Scott's road to success was built on drive, passion, and follow through. But Scott was also flexible, which allowed him to evolve his business to reach the global market. All right, Scott, before we get into going past that first million, what do you got in the vest tonight? <laughs> well, let me show you that. <laughs> this is a, this is a, come on, let's this go. This is a brand new vest. This is a travel vest, 22 hidden pockets. I've got keys, of course, uh, with an expandable keychain holder. I've got a water bottle. I've got my iPod. I've got a magazine right here. And I've got travel documents right here. I've got a pen. All right, we got it. We got it. Right, we got it. Yeah. I got, I got, got so much stuff. Okay, you obviously pockets. you have a great product. I want to go inside the vest. What's driving you there? I mean, I, I, it's. I always say it's never about the money. We love the money. What pushes you? You got to that first million. What is the drive factor that keeps you keeps you going? Well, in my case, I, I was a lawyer, as you know, and I don't want to have to practice law again. That drives me. I mean, I, I look at what else I would do, and and I don't want to go to work for someone else. And, and also keeping my customers happy. It sounds, it sounds you know, ridiculous at some level, you know, but I get customers writing into me, thanking me, and that, and that drives me. Okay, you hit your first million in sales, which is always a great feeling. It's a certain yeah. benchmark, but it's just the beginning. What did you do differently to go from one million to five million versus zero to one million? Always innovating the product and the message, constantly changing the message. We're very fortunate to get the media to have a lot of attention on our product. We've been written about in the New York Times five times, the Wall Street Journal four, and coming up with a different media spin for the, uh, uh, the new products. What for you was the biggest obstacle getting past that first million and getting to that next five, to that five million dollar mark? Uh, getting uh, retailers to understand our product, we were ahead of the time, and, and getting the, the big box retailers to appreciate that, that there is a need for this product out there, and that's been really difficult. So what I did is I went directly to the consumer by selling online, and we've been really successful at it. There's obviously always the unknown. In your case, and everybody's case, 9-11, which was obviously the greatest tragedy, one of the greatest tragedies this country's ever felt, obviously affected a lot of businesses. How did you deal with that? Well, in our case, right after 9-11, we had just started selling, and our sales dropped off to nothing. So we had to go to back to the drawing board. So we reinvented our marketing program to focus on the travelers, the one carry-on rule. You take your jacket and you use it as a carry-on. In the security, you load up your jacket, you put it through the, the x-ray, and it makes it a lot easier in that fashion. So we had a different message. You know, you did a press release saying, you know, exclusion of one carry-on rule, Scotty Vest allowed, yeah. and, um, and that's how we did you, it. You constantly have to focus on the big picture. It's, it's hard to do at times, but you have to deal with the minutia to get there. So it's just a matter of focus and creating a checklist, I think, helps a lot. So uh, things that you need to accomplish on a daily and weekly and even yearly basis and referring back to that checklist to measure your performance. All right, let's bottom line it for growing beyond your first million. Number one, listen to your customers. Never stop listening. Number two, build a strong team and make sure you have a solid structure for your company. The same structure that got you from zero to one million is not the same one that's going to get you from one to ten million. And keep your vision consistent. Make sure you grow at the right pace.